Right, okay, so I've got Adobe Premiere Pro open and my intention is to create a new project. And really what I'm doing here is I'm just going to animate the actual uh, storyboard element. So I'm not looking to actually make anything. Um, I'm just looking to animate the storyboard. So I've chosen to save it in my folder. I'm going to title this storyboard. Okay, we don't really need to worry too much about this for a GCSE project. So we'll go in and then it will open up another menu. So just so you know, I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm just setting up a new project at the moment. Okay, so normally it comes up with this and it's got these video settings and so on, frame size. Now the brief tells us that it is to be used on social media platforms. So actually, I'm going to have a look, and I'm going to look for something. Mobile and devices would be a perfectly reasonable one, or if there is a website one. I think there is. So 720 is essentially HD. And that's the lowest quality HD you can have. So most of your phones will be better than that. Uh, a lot of digital cameras will be better than that. This is just a storyboard, so it doesn't massively matter. But it's worthwhile setting it up ready for when we make the real thing. So I'm going to set it up as um, DSLR 720. And this 24 is frames per second. The more frames per second you can get, so 60 frames per second, would actually make for a really high quality music video. The more frames per second you get, um, the better you can do slow motion or zoom ins, things like that. But you have to make sure this matches the camera setting that you film the footage in. So if you're filming the footage, you need to make sure your camera can actually do 60 frames per second. So the first thing that I'm going to do, okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to import down here my files and I'm going to import all my storyboard images which are here. Because I'm going to use these to kind of play out the video in still image format so I get an idea of how the shots relate to the music and whether or not I need to include any more scenes and so on. And I also need to import the actual music itself. So that looks like a video to me. So bear with me. Okay, so I've, I've already edited, and you will have seen that video, I've already edited the music down to two minutes. But now I need to check that out with the music. Now this actually looks like it's gone on a bit longer. It's probably not quite the video. To zoom in, I can just drag this along, and that'll give me a much better idea where we're at. So this is the two minute mark. And I'm pretty sure it just naturally ends there anyway. So let's have a listen. In effects controls, I can adjust the volume. So I'm going to lower that to about there and move it in and set it to normal. Bit 
too fast now. I can just move the dots along. So that's it. And the whole thing itself, to be perfectly honest, is quite loud. I want to see if I've got the one I've already edited. So import. Music video. Ah, there we go. Two minute edit. So this one, hopefully, is already set to two minutes and is much, much quieter because that's it's a bit too loud for them. Right, perfect. Two minutes. Let's have a quick listen. Desperate need for acceptance that you just can't ignore. The lies they wish they had. Okay, so uh, the next thing to do then is to get my picture. that's the whole thing and I believe if I just drag it in we can have a look at this yeah. now in order to rotate this round I'm gonna have to go to motion and we can rotate so this is gonna need to be rotated 180 I'm just type that in and also the scale I might need to zoom out the scale now there's a bit of an issue I've got here because I, it's actually animated that. So I think if I move it, it's going to spin it around. No, it hasn't. That's good. Okay. So as it starts off, I want it to be on this one. And then I want it to move across to this one. So I'm going to zoom right in. And have it up here. We have to tick these actual clocks in order to animate it. Oi! Just like that, oi. I'm just going to split this. I'm not actually going to animate it across. I'm going to split it. So I just want, it's actually going to be a cleaner cut than that when it gets to this slide. I'm going to take these animations off, actually. Get these across, scale it out. Now, I've decided on this bit here, I might actually zoom a bit. So I might start it off a bit more zoomed in on the guy taking the selfie. By the bus stop. And then I might actually do a really like fast zoom out to kind of match the music a little bit. Which is quite a nice thing to do with a music video. We should try and make camera shots sort of tie in to the music okay so it should zoom out from him to draw attention to this guy Oi! okay yeah I quite like that and then we'll move on to the next one so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm just gonna animate these things so I've shown you all the tools position scale Razor tool or C to split and file import to put your images in. That's really all we need for this. So I'm going to go ahead and create my actual storyboard and I will show you what that looks like. 